than 100 participants. Um, so uh, in 2020 and 21, so forget about it because the pandemic, the COVID, but we, uh, in the 2019, when we opened our website, the azorzomeeting.com, uh, several emails, several messages in the social network, for example, uh, comes to North Europe, Denmark, Sweden, uh, Brussels, uh, uh, German, and, and, the not, and other countries that ask about what the schedule is, what the date is, where it occurs in the Azores, but what island in San Miguel, Fayal, Pico, Okay, so there are a lot of interest about the, the Zorzo meeting. Of course, the pandemic change uh, because we cannot make uh, this sport event uh, uh, and mainly this is uh, island. So uh, about the health issues, we are, we are very limited. So we cancel it and probably in the next year, we try to make another uh, event, uh, probably national to make another proof of concept, but we are we already made, but probably we are making 2022. So this is a sustainable small scale sport tourism event. Yes, we can. And the Azorzo meeting, the Azor Triangle, it's a good example. Um, the main motivation for us is to be part of the Azorzo meeting. Um, uh, the, the, the main motivation to, to, to define a sport tourist is to be part of that event because, of course, they will visit uh, Fayal Island or the Azores and will participate in the Azores meeting, but of course they will visit a museum or an interpretive center and but the main motivation is to be part of the Azores meeting, a small scale event. Uh, so. Uh, this is, this is very important in our glasses, in our opinion. So the Azorzo meeting, we have a careful planet, a circular economy, trees are planted, a non-use of plastic, the filling stations with just local food, as much as possible, of course, maps and others, uh, paper are printed and recycled, uh, and inclusion of social institutions uh, through souvenirs. The souvenirs is a handmade craft uh, uh, with hood, um, just souvenirs, but made by us, by the Azorian people. Um, social network and community share wide reach. Uh, in presence in trade shows, of course. Uh, we, we make a, a little appointment that's the community share. Uh, why we want to prove the proof of concept, the POC, because when the community in the small, it's island, so we are a small community, when the, the community interested, are interesting in something, they will share in the public, in the private social network. I will talk with friends, I will talk with family, and I will promote for free uh, this event. So we make, first of all, the proof of concept, the POC, and then we open the, the activity uh, for, 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 for another person, for possible tourists uh, to come here to the Azores. So the Azores meeting uh, is divided into three small events. The FUTO, it's a normal orienting uh, event, the TRAILO and the MTBO. Uh, we make also a kayaking uh, because we have sea all around these islands. So uh, we, we, it's easy to make um, a little orienting race uh, in, the, in, the, in the kayaking. Uh, and the Azores, the Azores meeting, sorry takes place is in the low season in three islands. So this is the Futo, Trello and the MTBO. We make example, Fayal Island, Pico and San Jorge. And the next year we change for uh, Corvo, Flor and Graciosa Island. And the next year we can change for another three islands because we are nine islands. So we can make an each year uh, a, a event um, in each island and the low season. It's, it's a good example to how to fight the seasonality, seasonality, sorry, uh, about tourism. 
uh, because we, if you concentrate this event in July, August, or June, July, August, uh, it's, it's very hard to get a hair flight, a flight, or a booking a hotel, a car, a van, everything. Uh, in the low season, we talk about March, April, September, October, November, uh, the, the, the weather is fine yet, um, and the prices are low because it's low season, it's more easy uh, to get a flight, to get a hotel. So it, it, even the organization, it's more easy to make, to make, to make this. So uh, in our opinion, of course, with, uh, through our glasses, it's, it's the, the Azorzo meeting, of course, just a proof of concept, but it's of course a sustainable and accessible uh, small scale sport tourism uh, event. So I think I don't uh, finish my 15 minutes. So thank you so much and came to visit in the Azores Island. The, um, and if you want something more context, please uh, go to the feed and I will answer to you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Tiago, for your very nice presentation and uh, clarify clarifying about Azores and the Azores O meeting. And now we open um, some, we have some time to, to questions and, and comments about um, about this communication, about this presentation. Who wants to start? I can do. Olivier, please. Uh, Thiago, thank you very much for your presentation. Very interesting. I would like some information. Um, what is the share of uh, this event in the, in the offer in sport tourism in the ASO. What is the, the share, the community share? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we think in, the, in our proof of concept and when we presented the, the regional government for supporting us, financial, um, we, we, we have to make that uh, we can promote in the, uh, online, example, in a Google, in the Facebook or Instagram, but we have to pay to these companies. Uh, when we, when in the small, in the small territories, rural island uh, uh, territories, uh, we think, of course, through our glasses, that when we, when we want to make a big event, we have to start us with a small uh, event just to test. It's a proof of concept. So we, we, we promote in our community in Fayal, Pico and Sir George Island, it's three islands and more than a hundred participants in the Azores in that three islands come to us and they are feeling that it's a good activity. I, I, don't, I don't even think that it's possible to make a, a, a sport activity with my baby, in, in, with my small baby, with my children, uh, with a welfare guy. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an activity that's, uh, that's uh, we want to make activity that are, um, that create a feeling of belonging to our community. So we can share about this event. It's, it's we, we can wide range because all the community, all that person share in their Facebook, they will um, promote uh, mouth to mouth uh, for friends, family, uh, probably institution, companies, uh, other organizations. So we want to share, want to proof of concept, first of all, in our small community, small, it's uh, 40,000, but yeah, it's a small community and then if it's good and the community feelings that belong to, that, to, to this event and create a good impact in our community, so we can share, the, sh the, the community share this event. It's, it's like this way. Thank you very much, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Olivier. Thank you, Tiago. We okay. have, I think we have time for one or two more questions, please. <clears throat> Questions? May I? Yes. Yeah. Um, thank you for this very nice presentation. I have no question, but I would like to uh, say that this concept of cooperation of all actors, of inhabitants, of residents, and of the 
government of islands uh, I consider as excellent because it is one of points which allow uh, which allows to postpone the, the, uh, the idea of uh, sustainability of some some region. And I, I guess it's a very, very good concept. And I, I can take from this some ideas. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, 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 um, it's our, our first thought. It's we have to make this activity because it doesn't exist in the Azores. The, the Orient Ring as a, as, a, as a sport activity doesn't exist. There is no, there is no club, there is no uh, institution to promote uh, Orient Ring. So we have to think carefully about this. And I think, in my opinion, as a person, that in the small community, I don't talk about a marathon, I don't talk... Uh, about the big events. Of course, they will create a good impact economically and for community. And of course it's an event. So uh, probably they, they, there is a cost, but it's, uh, uh, it's entering something um, for, for, that, uh, for that community, for that territory. But in, in the small territories as a rural and in, in here as, as islands, we have to think carefully about all the things because we are islands. So we have healthy problems because we cannot support uh, as much person and participants uh, as much as we wanted. So we have, first of all, the proof of concept about our community, our regional, our Azores, and then we open doors for everyone. Yeah. But thank you, Arina. Thank you, Arina. Thank you, Tiago, for your uh, very nice presentation and the clarifications about this proof of concept, very interesting. And uh, later we, we will explain uh, a project that will be made in the earnest uh, scope that will be about um, islands, sport tourism in islands. And probably Tiago, we will invite you to, to participate in this project. So um, following the schedule, we will have the second uh, communication entitled Sustainability of Sport Tourism in Newly Discovered Destinations. And this communication will be made by Irina Slepikova from the Charles University from Prague, Czech Republic. Irina, please go ahead. You can share yeah. your screen if you want. Thank you. I hope I will be successful in share sharing. Tell me, I because I am not familiar with uh, with you have, Zoom. You have a, a green button, button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green button. You I switch press. it on. Yeah. Uh, choose uh, window or or choose 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 choose. Hello, Obrazovku. It's something else. Do you see something? No, no just. You, Tiago, me, and Olivier. <laughs> so, what shall I do? Uh. So, of course, thank you. Room one, it's something else. Uh, first problem. So, so one, once more. Jo, chcete povolit informace, povolit vidět vaši obrazovku, povolit. OK, so. now you are sharing uh, the presentation, screen. not the presentation. Now I'm uh, appearing in the screen, only me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Sdílet Firefox, post share, stop share. Ah, yeah. You are sharing the screen. So, new sharing. Skype, thank you, room. Or screen. It's something else. We are sharing 
the same. Uh, yeah. You probably need to um, to open your presentation now. Yes. Now it's okay. You you see? I, I'm seeing your presentation. So and if you want, you care. You can put in full screen. Your uh, I, I will not touch it because if you uh, if it is possible to see something, it is it is better. Okay, and fine, it it, fine. Mo it moves, yes. Okay, can go. You can go. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, sorry for this, but maybe uh, next it will be later. So we we can move from some warm region uh, to a bit colder one because Czech Republic has uh, some territories uh, where it's possible to practice uh, winter sport. So I uh, want to speak about uh, one uh, place of uh, uh, these uh, places offering winter sports. Uh, we know that uh, um, tourism and growth, uh, sport tourism are um, enormously growing and sometimes um, they, they are mass organized. We moved from individual uh, traveling to mass, mass organized traveling uh, and um, practicing some uh, sport activities. I will uh, speak about active sport tourism. Uh, with this uh, are connected um, activities like sell of goods and services. People try to escape from urbanized world and to find some calm and uh, good ambience in nature, but they take uh, this, uh, the, uh, their habits, uh, which are very closely linked to the uh, lifestyles in, uh, in, uh, in uh, towns in uh, urbanized world. So, uh, these aspects uh, can cause some troubles concerning sustainability of sport tourism or uh, tourism in general. And as I told, we have uh, several mountains uh, which can offer also winter sports. But in last time, uh, in last periods, it is necessary to develop also um, the all-round uh, activities for uh, for visitors. So um, there is also known that sport tourism can have uh, positive but also negative impact on uh, visited areas and uh, it can um, bring benefit but also it can in uh, incur uh, the cost of this uh, development. So um, there is necessary to take care on sustainable development and in the um, following the meaning or ideas of world tourist organizations, it is necessary to preserve this destination for future generations, residents, but as well as visitors or active sport tourists. Um, uh, here is one. Uh, here is this one question because, and at, uh, it was something I admired on the previous contribution that it is necessary to have some integrated planning uh, for everything concerning tourism and sport tourism. It is necessary to uh, to attract uh, into activities the local community and also what is necessary to have data to monitor and evaluate what is happening in, in the area. And when we consider all these aspects, and when we also consider that we have uh, so many actors participating in uh, sport tourism and in tourism, so it um, gives a necessity to have also some uh, political pillar of this sustainable development and it is not easy to uh, set up uh, some good strategy or policy of sustainable development when you have many uh, many it's possible to say stakeholders and uh, in some bigger or larger areas than in some uh, small one so when i <clears throat> Uh, want to characterize the uh, situation in sport tourism, mountain sport tourism in uh, the Czech Republic uh, in last 
30 years because it's quite important uh, period for us because we um, we change from a socialist to to capitalist system with possibility of um, many possibilities of market and so on so <clears throat> um, these regions uh, on the border which are situated mostly on the border of the Czech Republic um, went through um, many changes uh, caused by globalization naturally, especially uh, in industrial area, by privatization and sale of many, many uh, enterprises to uh, foreign companies. And many enterprises were, were canceled, were stopped and the industry disappeared. So it was necessary to um, work on uh, some new uh, new sectors uh, which can offer work to people, which can offer conditions for living for people. And uh, when we use some uh, political document of our uh, of our country, we find these um, uh, regions as structurally affected regions and economically and socially affected territories. So it is really necessary to find uh, new ways how to keep life in, this, in these regions. We have this uh, document, uh, Sustainable Regional Development 2021 plus seven years. Um, what also happened in uh, uh, these mountain uh, territories? Because uh, sports uh, is very popular in my country and sport tourism as well. Doesn't matter which political, political direction of the state. Some uh, traditional destinations are already overcrowded and uh, are really uh, a bit destroyed by sport tourism. And uh, sport tourism can become now uh, some economic sector in mountain periphery uh, territories. So uh, it is necessary to follow uh, this development and to think about, uh, about um, it, uh, its good uh, development, about evaluation, about me measurement and so on. So uh, we were trying to um, 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 go a bit deeper into this problem in one um, territory, which started with some um, uh, with some uh, faster development, bigger development in area of uh, in area of uh, sport tourism, and it is destination. Uh, Dorni Morava. Later, I will show you where this uh, place is, is situated. Uh, we paid attention uh, to selected aspects, but uh, it's really very complex uh, problems. Uh, we uh, try to evaluate some fundamental indicator, uh, indicators of uh, tourism system, uh, sustainability, uh, opinion of residents uh, on uh, sport tourism, uh, and uh, what uh, has happened in uh, infrastructure serving for uh, sport tourism, but also for uh, serving to people. Here is the uh, location of this area. We are a small country. Uh, Prague is the capital. And uh, this, uh, this destination, uh, you can see, uh, can be achieved from Prague uh, in, in time of two and a half hour, also from other big towns, Brno and Ostrava. So, and you can see the chain of uh, mountains around surrounding the Czech Republic. Uh, what uh, um, which method we had used? It was it was a single case study. Uh, we used many quantitative and qualitative methods of data collecting and also of their evaluation. And I will show you in brief uh, some uh, some uh, results uh, from this. Uh, this research, we um, were focused on uh, on um, residents, also on some uh, administrative workers of politicians, and uh, also we analyzed uh, many strategical documents and other documents. So, what we can uh, contemplate. Um, 
the uh, in uh, the territory uh, there was a tendency to um, improve the infrastructure which can serve to sport tourism this area served for sport tourism served to sport tourism already in the deep past but uh, in um, the uh, in uh, last two period uh, to last two decades of uh, previous century uh, there were there was very active um, uh, ski club uh, from Brno which constructed uh, two ski slopes and uh, this area started to be visited and uh, very intensive uh, development started uh, in a period uh, on the beginning of the new uh, new millennium when this uh, um, when people from this uh, um, sport club uh, founded um, founded uh, for profit organizations and there started to be a developed mountain resort Dorni Morava there were many investments now, there are now many investments of for-profit organization Snežnik, follower of this uh, sport club. It is now a joint stock company. It means uh, very well uh, acting uh, for-profit compa company. Uh, what they uh, build, uh, artificial, uh, um, uh, uh, equipment for artificial snow, chairlift, bobsleigh piece, uh, luxury hotels, chalet, and accommodation of also for the new employees serving uh, in uh, sport tourism. Uh, what happened uh, also happened is that this uh, for-profit organization uh, bought many parcels, and uh, they are nowadays owners of many parcels and building. It means that they have a very uh, strong influence on the, on the place. And there were also some public investment, which, uh, of, which um, improved mostly the um, uh, traffic infrastructure uh, for transport and parking places, places, and also water reservoir, which is necessary uh, for for uh, production of uh, snow. Here are in brief some uh, results concerning um, uh, tourist, tourism uh, indicators. You can see that if in the beginning of this millennium, there were only uh, seven, uh, seven com common accommodation um, uh, buildings. Uh, and uh, nowadays it, uh, it is doubled. Uh, the capacity of beds increased uh, uh, three times and number of overnight guests increased during 20 years, um, uh, of, 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 of almost five times. So everything was also um, uh, supported by this start of investment. Then here was a big, uh, uh, improvement of number of uh, collective accommodations. Here was um, constructed attraction for visitors trail in clouds. You could uh, see it uh, on the previous uh, picture. And what happened is also to attract people to the to the region uh, because there were um, uh, constructed new flats for employees because they are not only residents. Uh, Concerning residents, uh, we, we got only uh, 40 response, uh, responses from this small community of uh, 3,000 residents uh, in age of from 18 to uh, 65. Uh, they are quite satisfied with life in uh, their uh, community and with the development, but they have more negative opinion on the environment protection on interpersonal relations which uh, have changed during this uh, development uh, development period uh, and they uh, see that um, perceive that residents are divided on two parts benefiting and non-benefiting from tourism 
So um, it's it is not so good for for internal uh, internal atmosphere. Uh, they quite um, um, are satisfied with uh, with visits of uh, tourists, and uh, they but in majority they are not willing to have more tourists. So you can see that they feel that it is already. Uh, a bit overcrowded in their uh, scales. And uh, also they feel or their opinion is that the tourism is not developed in sustainable way, way in different aspects. So when we uh, try to conclude uh, data or results from different areas we, we follow, it uh, gives on one side positive and on other side negative uh, aspects of uh, sport, tourism and tourism development in Dorni Morab. What happened here? Uh, new uh, sport tourism and tourism offers new work opportunities for residents. It is very good because I uh, told that uh, this uh, territory is uh, um, in uh, bad economic conditions. Here, uh, what we can follow, uh, contemplate, and this is something special, is that the resident, number of residents has, has increased. So after a big depopulation in the past, because it was also uh, territory uh, with uh, German inhabitants with, uh, which had to move out of the, the former Czechoslovak Republic and so on. It's very good, uh, very good news because it's, I guess, it's problem uh, around the world that people, uh, uh, people uh, are li leave, uh, people leave uh, these uh, um, peripheral territories. And uh, here are also many, many new tourist opportunities for a visitor. And in reality, it is not still overcrowded destination. What is negative? Impact on environment. It is, it, it, we meet this always because with uh, building, uh, with construction of in, in, uh, infrastructure and so on, it comes uh, every time. It has bad impact on uh, social, socio culture aspects. We can contemplate the dualization of the uh, society living in uh, Dorni Morava. I, what I consider as very dangerous is growing influence of for profit uh, organizations Nezhnik, on municipal meter, matters and municipal policy, because nowadays they are leading, uh, they are leading uh, actor in uh, this area, and it is really a growing organization because they started to um, make business also in other Czech uh, Czech mountains. So it's really strong organization. And what is bad and what uh, I admired uh, concerning Azor uh, Island is that there is there doesn't exist plan for municipal sustainable development related to sport tourism and based on some evidence. So proposal is to monitor and evaluate um, uh, sport tourism and tourism stages and to avoid the some irreversible changes which could come and maintain the in bracket ideal potential of destination and uh, some good lifestyle of people. So thank you for your attention. Here is this, uh, this uh, trail in clouds I mentioned. Uh, some uh, some uh, people uh, don't admire it because it it uh, it uh, destroyed the panorama of this nice play. So thank you very much. I hope I am good in, with my time. Okay. So thank you, thank you so I much, Irina. Thank you for your very interesting uh, presentation. 
now uh, probably you can stop sharing your uh, screen because I'm appearing in the screen, only me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, just uh, or stop share, please. Uh, I in try the to right, stop it. In the, in the right, right corner. In the right. Oh, conscious delay. I see. Yeah. It's okay. No, no it's, Pardon. It's fine. Okay. So many so, informations. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, one or two questions. We can um, have five minutes to discuss this, um, the content of this uh, communication. Please go ahead. Who want to start? So if no one, I, I have just one one question. There is. Um, at the first glance, uh, with this picture that you present us, what uh, can you recommend to the um, organizers and, and to the municipality uh, to reduce or um, minimize the, uh, uh, the impact, the negative impacts? Uh, I guess that it is necessary to have to have data because this research uh, made with help of uh, one very good student was supported by the mayor of this uh, municipality. It was very good. It was also announced in local uh, local review, which is uh, which is published each each month, and. Uh, I guess that it's necessary that well, uh, it's necessary to put together the uh, the town hall and uh, residents. It's the first one because uh, it's it's uh, clear that there are different uh, different opinion on uh, on things, and it's necessary to explain. Uh, what will happen and what it will brings, but also to hear what people mean and how they feel changing uh, conditions for their lives because they stay there. Visitors come and leave. And uh, really, uh, residents have troubles with some residents, uh, with some visitors, mostly from towns. You know that people from towns uh, are able uh, uh, to uh, leave letters and not to follow instruction and they, um, they uh, drive their car uh, in very high speed and so on. So to, to um, harmonize the life of locals with, uh, with visits of the of the uh, tourists and it is necessary to have some regulation there are some regulations but also to ask for keeping uh, for respecting these uh, regulations it is one thing and the next one is to be more careful concerning the plans so-called plans of um, uh, uh, territorial uh, uh, development because it's uh, normal uh, procedure I guess all uh, all places or countries have it but the uh, but the businessmen these for-profit companies have very strong lobbying and it is dangerous and it is dangerous and I see it in all areas and I guess it's necessary to limit this lobbying because uh, this nice locality will be also overcrowded as it, it has happened in, for example, our biggest uh, mountain, Kirkonosha. There it is horrible nowadays. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Irina. Um, probably we, we, we should move to the next communication. Um, the next communication will be made by Yosef Siaim from the Hassan Second University of Casablanca, Morocco. And uh, the communication is entitled Sustainable Development Within the Sports Policy of the Casablanca Seta Region, Morocco. Yosef, please go ahead. You can share your screen and have a nice presentation. Okay, thank you.
you can see my uh, my presentation yes yes we can we can see thank you okay so uh, hello everybody uh, before i start my presentation let me express my pleasure and uh, so i am very glad to participate with you in this conference i would have like like it to to be face in face to face but uh, regrettably with the covid we cannot i hope that the next edition will be in face to face mold with the participation of all the members of Ernest. Uh, so uh, also I, I want to say that the last edition, it was in my country. Uh, I kept beautiful memories uh, and I hope to see you again in my country, Mo Morocco. So regarding today's presentation, it's uh, entitled the uh, sustainable development within the sports policy of Casablanca region, uh, Morocco. So it's uh, it's a work of three persons, uh, me uh, as a PhD student in uh, UNCG Casablanca of uh, Hassan II University of, uh, of Casablanca and my professor Abrahim Gharib, also with my colleague, uh, Mohamed Bukhalkhal. So, uh, we have decided on the following plan for this presentation. I will start with a short introduction, and then I will briefly discuss a theoretical framework used in the, in the preparation of our people. Then I will go on the presentation of the problematic, then the epochest, the methodology, uh, the results, and I will end my presentation with a short uh, conclusion. So, personally, I, uh, I have worked uh, a lot on public uh, policies, and I can say that uh, currently, most of public public uh, policies try to have or uh, or try to meet the necessary element to be uh, innovative to be creative and to be efficient uh, the objective uh, is to answer appropriately to the citizens needs to achieve these goals decision makers uh, decisions makers are forced to think deeply in the integration of sustainable development principles. So, uh, in fact, given that the sport policy is also uh, public policy, the responsible of sport at the national or uh, the regional level must think about sport in addition of uh, sustainable development. And in my country, Morocco, a context is also important to take into consideration. It's the new mode of administrative management marked by the advanced regionalization. So it's uh, with this uh, new mode, the local officials, official have a primary role in the development of region sport policy. And so uh, uh, sustainable development and sport is the matter of local actors. In this level, we can speak about the, the level of the ownership of these principles depend primarily on the visions, the perceptions, and the commitment of the sport leaders. So, concerning the, our uh, theoretical framework, we have worked in the pillar of sustainable development. Also, we have mobilized two theories. Uh, as you know, our objective is to have a result based in the solid theoretical, uh, theoretical basis. Uh, the three pillars 
are classified like uh, as uh, environmental, social, economic aspect. Uh, each pillar has uh, its own characteristic and also the theory has tried to, demonst to, to demonstrate the importance of the, uh, its integration in the sustainable development philosophy. So, uh, the two theories uh, mobilized are uh, the theory of the needs and also the theory of the public uh, value. Uh, generally, the exploitation of the two theories was was in an objective to reflect in the response to, to the needs of the population through the regional sport policy, but also to take into consideration the best practice of the public administration. In other words, words we can say that the new practice that have the power to combine the rule of the public administration the satisfaction of the citizens' needs, but also the, the, to take consideration of the principles of sustainable development. Uh, concerning our problematic, we have two elements. Uh, one, we have a regional sport policy, and the second, we have the principle of sustainable development. And so uh, uh, in a scientific work which approach a regional sport policy, we wanted to know does the regional sport policy act appropriately to the principles of sustainable development. In our region, it's a sport, uh, it's Casablanca stats. So uh, to answer uh, to this question, we have put in place two approaches. The first one uh, say that the local decision makers are aware of the importance of integrating sustainable development principles, principles into regional sport policy. And the, the second one, uh, say that the regional sport policy is effectively designed on the basis of sustainable development principles. Uh, for given answer to this uh, to this approaches, we have our methodology. We are starting by uh, epistemologic, epistemological position. We, are in, we, we choose the post-positivism. Uh, after we have uh, used the hypothetical deductive uh, method uh, for our approach as the qualitative, the measurement tool, we are using the interview guide for decision makers. Uh, the construction of the measurement tools based on the theory our analysis the data, it was with the NVivo software uh, and the, our analysis is based on the analysis of the content. The sample size, uh, because the number of the stakeholders of all or, or, or uh, the, the, the decision makers is small in the region. Uh, so we are we choose the exhaustiveness approach. So we, we will ask all the, the stakeholders. Uh, we, I go directly to the results. I'm so sorry sorry because the quality of the picture is uh, not good because the data processing was done in the software in French. Uh, I wanted the after to rework the, the, the picture in English. It did not give a satisfactory result. So do, you can see this, this image or these pictures in the, the, the bad quality. Uh, in general, 
the pictures shows that the speech of the decision makers included the element informant on the importance given to the principles of sustainable development. Uh, the sentence that precede or follow the term sustainable development show that the decision makers give importance to this concept. And also, we can speak about uh, other results. We have concluded that decision makers have a high level of awareness about this, uh, this subject and uh, also to try to promote sports activities, activities in accord, uh, accordance with sustainable development. Uh, but uh, what's also important, the associate sustainable development with the environmental aspects and the, uh, to much greater. Uh, so we can we can say that local uh, official believe in sustainable development and believe also in the integration of its principles uh, uh, in the uh, implementation of sport policy. Uh, also about sustainable development within the regional sport policy. Uh, of the social pillar, we can see that the local actors have oriented the project of the sport policy in aims to uh, for the, the social integration of the citizen. He tried to, to fight against crime, uh, to use uh, regional sport policy for the entertainment means, to fight uh, uh, against the stress and also to meet places for convivia conviviality. Shortly, uh, from the speech of the, the decision makers, we can conclude that the social pillar has been integrated uh, in the implementation of regional sport policy. Also, for the economical pillar, the local actors have oriented also the project of the sport policy to for the economic answers insertion uh, of the citizen, uh, also to fight against unemployment uh, and uh, to create of uh, work opportunities. So the same things for the economic people, the decision makers have a take into account this element. Uh, what about the environmental pillar? In relation to this factor, there is a big question mark uh, uh, in analyzing the, 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 uh, the counts of the, the, the decision maker. Why? Because if you remember of the first results of this research work, uh, where we said that the, the decision makers associate a lot of uh, uh, the side of environmental on uh, environmental to the sustainable dev development. So the logic suppose that the environmental pillar is taken into consideration first. However, we find that the other two pillars were present during the elaboration of the regional sport policy, and the third one uh, was not. So uh, we can say that uh, this, uh, this pillar uh, in the perception uh, to the actors is present, but the actions uh, to, to uh, to concretize this uh, regional sport policy is so absent. So in general, our first hypothesis is accepted 
what we can say that the local decisions makers are aware of the importance of integrating uh, sustainable development principle into region uh, sport policy. But the second hypothesis is rejected. We can say that the regional sport policy is not uh, uh, not effectively designed on the basis of the sustainable development. Uh, to, to, in the end, uh, I can say that uh, uh, the contribution of the, the achievement of the sport objective is related to, to the three pillars of sustainable development called to be planned in a constant, or a constant way. Uh, and also the organizations of the sports events or to the development of sport and the promotion of sport tourism creates a territorial dynamic and generates economic and social benefit, but not environmental ones. Uh, so I think that I, I present all the elements of my, my uh, my work, uh, thank you for your presentation. If you have any questions, uh, we, are, we are here. Thank you very much, Yosef, for your very interesting uh, presentation and interesting results. Um, we can have five minutes of uh, Questions or discussions? Who want to start? Ricardo? Olivier, please. Youssef, thank you very much for your presentation. Maybe can you uh, present us some recommendation for the env environmental pillar for this uh, uh, contribution? Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Olivier. So uh, about recommendation, uh, we can say that uh, that's the three pillars are important. And uh, when we want to, to, to create or to, to, uh, uh, to prepare our sport policy with, we, we choose, and uh, it's important to take three pillars uh, in the consideration. And what is very important to, in, uh, uh, in first time is the, the, the aspect of env environment. So uh, we, can, we can't uh, make, uh, make uh, for uh, policy uh, without uh, taking for this uh, this element and the recommendation is for the, the decisions makers so uh, they, they have to to, to 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 have a contact with their, the with the, the, the academic the academic persons and we they can discuss with with with, with their this uh, the, the the plans and uh, and also uh, take uh, the the examples for the uh, other area other country uh, to to make uh, to make this uh, this this sport policy uh, in the region thank you Great. Thank you, Yosef. Thank you, Olivier, for your question. Any other question? So probably we, we need to, to move to the final communication. Uh, thank you so much, Yosef, for your communication and clarifications. So we will move in this final communication about sport tourism, island territories and sustainable development approach, approach to a methodological framework for research based on the insular context of the Indian Ocean that will be made by Olivier Naria.
Olivier, go yes. ahead. Okay, Please. thank you very much. You can share your screen. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the invitation for the Ianis conference to Roma with my colleague Derek Van Wenyan, Ricardo Melo, and Claude Sobi are here present. My presentation today is around spot tourism, island territories, and sustainable development, approaching a conceptual and methodological framework for research from the Indian Ocean. Chapter 70 of Agenda 21 on United Nations Conference on environment and development in Rio recognize that islands face specific geopolitical, environmental, economic, and social problems. They highlight the challenges of sustainable development and the importance, the imperative of the economic and environmental conciliation in former these action plans. The island of the Indian Ocean you have Maldives, Seychelles, Comoros, Mayotte, Madagascar, Maurice, Reunion, and Rodrigue. Rodrigue is a small island from Maurice. The island of this Indian Ocean so presents specific problems linked to the element of self determinist in Serari of the island environment and to historical and economic trajectories of these territories. In view of these challenges, Sports tourists are, has the potential to create an opportunity for economic development for this island. Several speeches and action mention sports tourists, specifically in the promotion of the Indian Ocean. However, none of these documents refer to the real organization of these activities in the territory and the development perspective. The two objectives of this conference are to study how sports tourists contributes to the sustainable development in the Indian Ocean Island, and with the CAS study, to define a methodological approach to analyze the relation between sport tourism and sustainable development on island scale. The definition of island is characterized by a common history of colonialism and exploitation, a cultural and social independence that continue today through neoliberal policies of capital accumulation and development. The island presents so the, pre the, the specific problem linked to the geographical isolation and remoteness, land scarcity, structural handicaps, narrow domestic markets. In this respect, the island have as many similarity as they do differences. They have in common island challenges and specific sociocultural elements. In view of the challenges, sports tourists constitute a significant opportunity for economic development of this island. Peter and Giver and Elkop have described the development of facilities and events within this sector in the Caribbean. Epitropoulos and all have analyzed the potential for diversification through oceanic activities in the tourism sector in Carpatos. In Uranian, in Uranian Island, Bessi and Naria have highlighted the contribution of this activity to the sustainable development. Turner demonstrates the necessity of the economic outcome of sport tourism for local communities for development in the Mantawa Island. Bull and Weed I say the socio-economic impact of a special sports tourist market in Malta. These various scientific approaches have demonstrated the emergence of a niche market that constitutes tourism diversification benefit to attract additional consumers to the highland. With a current in, with a current population of 30 million inhabitants, the Indian Ocean Island combine African, Asian, European influence to defend the identity of this territory. This diversity of ethnicity and religions create 
a wheel of cultural exchange, but likewise generate problem concerning social cohesions. The Human Development Index illustrates market difference between the islands. When you're an island with 0.88 index, the Seychelles and Mauritius with 0.80 index respectively present indices that be belong to the high human index development for this country. GDP per capita is respectively 820 US dollar and 1,414 US dollar for the Comoros and Madagascar. Will it range from to 23,140 US dollar for Reunion? There is a big difference. Demo demographically, the proportion of young people under 20 years of age represents nearly half of the total population of this island. From an environmental perspective, this territory offers an abundant oceanic coastline, rich in precious maritime heritage. However, this territory are confronted with the effect of the global warming and tropical climate. Based on this element, is supposed to reach an emerging sector for the Indian issue. Far from the immense European and North American markets, the region received more than 4 million tourists in 2019, a number equivalent to 0.4% of the world tourist market. However, this island has undeniable advantages the geographical configurations and climatic particularity offers the possibility of practicing a variety of activity on water, air, and land. Today, there were a total of 1,448 sport tourist structures, association and company combining the island. The regions are also witness the increased development of places for sports tourism there is a multiplication of sites developed by public authorities or company with a global distribution of 1,854 identified nature sports facilities and sites. There is a market growth in the number of sports tourism events. There are more than 90 events from international and local and regional events which promote the tourist sport destination to the island. This table, despite the diversity of the market for these activities, as well as the current development of the territories. The average length of tourist stays varies from seven days for the Comoros to over 30 days for Mayotte. This variation is also visible in the share of tourists in the GDP of the island, ranging from two for four percent in Mayotte to more than 20% in the Seychelles or the Maldives island. This data can be input into perspective with more than 100,000 beds available in all island. These local authorities estimate that the island overall tourism revenue is 3 billion US dollars. Your investigation estimate the total revenue the sport tourism leisure sector at over 843 million US dollars. However, this figure is largely underestimated because the economic spin-off could not be count for the Maldives and the Madagascar. We are in the presence of a secondary economic market with gross potential. Maldives, Comoros, Mayotte, Mauritius, and Reunion have clearly positioned the sport tourist segment is at the heart of the strategic tourist market. This case study allows us to expand your model of a comparative research methodology and to pose several research questions concerning the contribution of the 17 SDG to the development of sports tourism. Your work consists of cross-referencing the data of the island literature with your case study in order to compare the results obtained. This project drew inspiration from the earnest study on World Race published this year. 
the element discute allow us to propose this heuristic model to analyze the relations of sport tourism in a sustainable development perspective on island scale. In the field of geomorphology, the relief and the vocalus constrains the indigenous people population. At the same time, this geographic geographic characteristic constitute landscape asset, the pitons, the rampa, the coral reef, the atoll, etc. This unique resource leads scholars to ask what are the influences of the geomorphical geological characteristic of island territory on sport tourists. At the level of geographical basin, geographical basin, sorry, the location of the island, the location of the primary center or site of tourism in a given island, and the cost of transports determine the factors that influence the supply of sport tourism in the island. This factor lead researcher to pose additional question. To what extent do the characteristic of the geographical basin of island influence sports practice? How can geographical isolation be a resource appropriated or socialized by the stakeholder and indigenous society in the island? The analysis of sport risk must be into perspective with regard to the historical trajectory, which impact both the transversal limit to the development of the island, as well as the limitation of tourist potential for this territory. How we can, we can characterize the role of the governance of the actor for the sustainable development of sports territories? Did the political trajectory linked to the colon colonization or decolonization influence the tourism and sport development model in this island. On the other hand, the history of dissemination of this activity shows the initiating role of exogenous people in the loss of several of this activity, followed by a gradual appropriation of this by local population. What roles do the indigenous non-indigenous population play in the organization of this offer. How can sport tourism help to achieve educational and personal development objective for young people? Do sports tourism allow the development of education, training and awareness raising actions for sustainable development in this island? At the level of the socioeconomic trajectory, the policy carried out by the island since their independence really of several factors. For example, to what extent do the socioeconomical disparity of the island territory influence the sport tourism territories? Can the sport tourism market contribute to poverty reduction in the island, one of the 17 Young Sustainable Development Girls. Finally, do ills, COVID, both natural, sea level wise, and social vulnerabilities influence the development of sport tourism in this island? To what extent can ills crisis constitute a time of recomposition by the key stakeholder for, of this sector? Lastly, sport tourism is a means of developing historic Islam territories within increasingly strong relationship with tourism and sustainable development. How do the 70 SDG contribute to the economical, sociocultural, and territorial challenge for the sustainable development of this island? To conclude, the island of the Indian Ocean present a significant potential for the development of sports tourism. The result of this case study will enable us to build a model that to define a common methodology to question how sports tourists can integrate the various dimensions of sustainable development in island contexts. These different approaches will be further explored in the book with objective 
will be to propose both a theoretical and empirical state of this situation. Sorry for my accent and thank you for your attention. And I'm ready to uh, action review. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Olivier, for your very, very interesting communication. And uh, we can now open um, the session to some questions. Barbara put the hand on. I don't know if she wants to. No, OK. Who wants to start? Tiago, OK, yes. go ahead. Yes, yes. Thank you, Ricardo. So Olivier and, uh, and the other authors of this uh, study, of this presentation, um, we are in Sintony because I'm living also in an island, in a territory, island territory, constituted from nine islands. And uh, I, I think, or we think as organization, Access Azores, a non-profit organization, that the expression of sustainable development or local sustainable development, it's, um, it's very unuseful because everyone talks about sustainable development. Uh, everything in, uh, um, in a public uh, sphere, uh, uh, in a private sphere, everyone talks about the, 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 the local sustainable development. And of course, when we talk about sport tourism events, uh, of course, the economic impact, it's, it's, it's brutal, it's an am amazing. But uh, I, we think in, in Access Azores and in, in this island, because the regional government officers have a policy about this, uh, this expression, sustainable development, um, we think that the environment impact, uh, the, the economic impact, it's, it's, it's positive, of course. The event, it's it's have to be positive. So the, the the nothing else matters. But we think also in and mainly in the island territory that we we have re natural resource. There are use for these sport events, small scale, big scale, don't doesn't matter. Uh, we have to be careful. Planet this impact in the, our natural resources, but also in the community. Because when we talk about the community, we say, oh, no, the community, the, good, the, the impact is good because they have uh, a full, uh, full booking accommodation. No, the community, most of us uh, don't have a hotel. This is the private uh, sphere. It's a private because we have a lot of community, a lot of person that, uh, that don't work uh, directly or indirectly with sport tourism or tourism sector. So we have to plan it. That's why the, the, the sustainable development, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an ambitious expression, but, but we don't use for, for the purpose of this. Um, and and, 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 and like, like me and like you, uh, we live in, in, in small territories, in island territories. We have a lot of problem of health issues because we have hospital, but we don't have a big and a good hospital. Uh, uh, we want to, uh, about mobility, uh, my transport, I want to go to the Lisbon, go to Lisbon or go to Rome. I have to go fly because I, in here, in Ireland, just air flights, it's flights. Uh, the, the impact of, of airplanes, uh, it's a big one, but it's a natural. Uh, we think in here that the, the impact, and you talk about the sustainable development and local and the, in the island territories, we have to think uh, about create a measure like, like your presentation, uh, but the, the real impact of the three pillars of the sustainable development, like Youssef present the social, economic, and environment, but also the, the, the political impact, the, the social impact, the cult cultural impact, because uh, who wants to participate in a sport tourism event also will visit a, um, a museum, will also visit a, a cultural uh, interpretation center, whatever, a military station, I don't know, but but we have to think it's common uh, uh, because we live in Ireland. So we are in here in the Azores um, and 
I can share this. It's, it's, we, we have to see the, 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 this expression, local sustainable development, as a real expression. We have to get to real measures, real aims, real strategies, real things. Uh, don't talk about sustainable development just like, okay, yeah, I wake up and, okay, let's make uh, anything about sustainable development, you know? So thank you very much, uh, Olivia, for your uh, share. And uh, I share with you about the, the island's impacts uh, and living and the, the events that impact in here. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, th th thank you so much, Tiago, for your um, comments. Olivier, I don't know if you want to comment also. Claude also has his hand, right hand hold. Tiago, thank you. Thank you very much because that you say it's very important. I believe uh, in the island, uh, th there is so all means uh, want to, to sensibilize local population about sustainable development was very, will very important. And the sport tourism organization, the sport tourism sector contributes uh, 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 to, 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 to which of the goal of sustainable development. But it's very important, uh, and it was one objective of this future book with uh, Claude uh, Ricardo Direct with the Ayanis, is to evaluate precisely what is the contribution of, of, of the, the, the sport tourist sector to sustainable development, to study local and local um, uh, uh, economical pillar, social pillar, and environmental pillar. Because for, for, for today, there is not a real study about the, the impact of this contribution in the island scale. And it's the first time we, we will have to, to, to approach this sector. And we, we will to, to have maybe to, to have some recommendation for local actor for political actor, for association, to have a new deal with natural resources about sport tourism. Okay, thank you, Olivier. Claude, please go ahead. Um, yes, Thiago. Um, I don't know where, where you are coming from. You're speaking about uh, Ireland, but Portugal. I, I Portugal, Portugal okay. Azores. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I was surprised when you, you say that uh, everybody is speaking about uh, sustainable development. Um, yes, for sure, for a long time now, um, probably for uh, the Brundtland report for the first time, uh, we, we speak about uh, uh, sustainable development. But at that time, there was only the three pillars. Olivier spoke about uh, uh, economy, sociology, and environment. But it was very, very I don't know the word, uh, bl uh, blur, it completely blur. We, we, we have no precise uh, 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 purpose, not purpose uh, objectives. But now with the, with the you know, SDGs, the 17 you know, SDGs, it's much more precise. I agree with you, it's still a little bit so and so. We must, uh, you, we, uh, uh, as um, academics working on the topic of of sport tourism, sport tourism, the three uh, uh, fields of research, we must define very precise objectives and see how uh, the 17 SDGs can be applied in our fields. I, I, I completely agree with you that we, we need much more precise uh, elements now concerning the uh, sustainable development. And uh, when you, 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 I hear you, um, I, I think that you probably could bring us a um, very good uh, uh, way of thinking. And I invite you to participate to the meeting this evening, uh, not this evening, tomorrow, tomorrow. evening uh, at, at the Ernest um, round table because uh, Olivier, we, we will speak about this project Olivier uh, uh, developed uh, just now, uh, and we will invite people interested 
in the sustainable development thanks to sport tourism in the small islands uh, to participate with us to this project. Okay. Okay, thank you, Claude. I anticipate and I already have the phone number of Tiago to, to, to call him and talk about the, the, the project directly also. So um, thank you so much for this uh, very interesting uh, communication and, and project, Olivier. We need to finish this uh, session. Any more additional questions? If not, just, just for the joke, Olivier, you, you spoke about your accent. Once I had a student uh, coming from uh, Algeria, I think, and he was speaking English, very good English, but with such a big accent. And I was obliged to smile. And he said, oh, yes, uh, pr Professor, it's pure Babelwood accent. <laughs> 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 very good crowd. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we need to finish, and I will finish just uh, with uh, some up, up, wrap up of the the communications. We started with uh, re-entering uh, and um, a case study from the a 